Gamefly is a mail-in service for video games and movies, a company based in Los Angeles, California. You can rent up from one to four movies or video games. Starts at $16 and then jumps up in $7 increments all the way up to 37. There isn't really a company like this in the United States. There's other streaming services or I mean what games you can download through like Xbox Game Pass and through PlayStation. Five step process to how this works though. You first pick which game you want on your smartphone app or on your computer. It gets mailed to you. You can play as long as you want, as long as you're paying for the monthly subscription fee. And then while you're doing that, you're waiting for the other game. So ideally you want to have as many games as possible because it gets cheaper the more games that you have. I've used the service twice and I'm using it right now. So is Gamefly worth it? And how does it work? Well, two big factors, how you play games. You want to be playing at least one different game a month because you are constantly renting a game, switching them out. And then number two, how close you are to a distribution center. They have two, one in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and one in Lakewood, California. The one in Lakewood has a lot more games and you're gonna, you're gonna get them more quickly because they'll ship out sooner. For me, I'm using the Pittsburgh one if possible since I am out on the East Coast. So time-wise, it takes longer. Like I said, I've used the service twice. I used it last year around the same time up until February, and then I just started like a month ago. In my personal experience though, the longest it takes once a game ships out is a week when it does come all the way from uh, LA. Most of the time though, from Pittsburgh, I'm looking at three, if I'm lucky, or four days for the games to come out. But you can rent up to four. So you have like a couple games and then the other, other two are shipping out or you're waiting for them to ship out. What I recommend doing though is don't even bother with the trial and rent the service for two or three months as many games as possible and then different types of games because some are, are going to be available sooner and some are have a high availability and there's a marker there's like low to high that you can see when you're looking through the library of games on Gamefly on your computer or app so that's the the first part is just trying it out seeing how long it takes and um, you can you can kind of half tell right now based on the distribution centers but you never know you could get lucky and you, you may be Along, along the way to route and then you happen to get them like a day or two early compared to other people. So, Other is the types of games. You have indie and triple A and this, this is where it's a little more complicated too along with uh, trying it out. With the indie games, more so the Nintendo Switch. There's not as many for PlayStation or Xbox One and this is a, kind of a double whammy for the Switch because they don't have something like Game Pass. So for rental services this is your best bet because they have physical releases of these and with their AAA games as well. With AAA games, these are where Gamefly is a huge benefit because you're going to have 50, 60 bucks to buy them. You know, whereas with indie, you can buy 15, start to compete with the service. But you got that $60 and you want to, especially if you want to try out a game anyway, this is like your best bet. So and then finally with that, when a game releases, if you have it in your queue and nothing else, you'll get the game shipped out the day before it releases, the day of, or the day after. I just got like Luigi's Mansion the day after it released as an example. And I got it pretty quickly too. Like these are usually going to be on for either distribution center. So in summary, best thing to do with the service is to try it out, not the trial period. That's not going to tell you it's too short when it takes three to four days uh, to get a game. But try it out that way. See if it's something you want to be doing, uh, you know, for renting games rather than just buying them. And then if you are cycling through games and like the larger ones and you have a Switch especially, then it can be worth it. If you are interested, please check out the links below. It really helps the channel out. Like, subscribe, tap the bell, and I'll be doing a review of a different services in an upcoming video, and I'll see you in the next one.